hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijama here and we are going to recreate this corset though this is just a pattern drafting and the cutting video we are still going to do the sewing i don't want the video to be too long it will be up to like 30 um, and almost 40 minutes so i demarcated the cutting pattern drafting and the sewing so now the first thing that we're going to do is to draft our pattern and the pattern is very easy the pattern of this particular corset is really easy so what we are going to do is that we will mark out our basic bodies first of all you can see that that corset has a yoke but the yoke is separate from the corset itself i don't know how i'm going to explain it they cut the yoke separately from the corset now i will start off by marking my bust point my bust point is 10 my half length is 17 my under bust is 13 and my chest line is going to be 8 inches so my bust point is 10 right i've marked 10 my under bust is 13 i'll mark 13 my half length is 17 i'll mark 17 then the full length i want it to stop at 21 though if you want to make it 22 you can make it 22 that is 21 plus one inch so i made it 22 and i'm going to make a straight line there so if you want to sew a comfortable cut set it should not be too long that is what i have learned over time now after doing this i'll connect my lines and after connecting the lines i will cut out i'll cut out the rest of the paper that i don't need then i'll label these lines it is very important label your lines so that you will not have any issue so this particular bra this particular corset will not come with a bra cup. The bra cup will be attached separately also. Now, after labeling my lines, I'll go ahead and mark out my shoulder. Your shoulder is needed. Your shoulder divided by two. So my own is eight. And I connected my eight inches line straight to my chest line. And I'll mark my armhole line. This is important. Though you may not use it, but it is important. Now, I'll mark my nipple to nipple divided by four. That is eight divided by two that is eight divided by two four i marked four inches and i'll extend that four inches from my chest line down to the full length of this corset now after doing that i will do my under bust tightening my under bust tightening is the most important before upper bust the upper bust tightening is not going to be too tight so now i'll also extend this that line up to my shoulder and after extending it up to my shoulder at the under bust, I'll take out 1.5, 1.5 on each side of this corset, on each side of this dart line. It is important. So this 1.5, 1.5 should be okay for any bust size. So after connecting the 1.5, 1.5, you will connect it to the bust point. Then at the full length, you will take out half an inch, half an inch on each side of that dart line. Half inch on this side and half inch on the other side then you connect from your bust point to your full length connect to your full length and connect the other one to your full length also now this is our under bust tightening and i will shade it because we will cut it out after doing that the next thing that we are going to do is to do our upper bust tightening but upper bust tightening will not be too tight and before you do that you will cut out your neckline shape first of all before doing your upper bust tightening so what you are going to do is that from your shoulder you will come down by five inches i want this to come up to five inches if you want it to be higher it is still okay but i want that pointy part to stop at five inches then it will be two inches away from the dart line you come down by five then from the dart line you move in by two and mark your v neckline first of all you can see how pointy the v neckline is v neckline then from your chest now you come down by half inch come down by half inch and connect from that pointy v neckline down to your new armhole so this is our new armhole and our armhole line is half inch below the former armhole line because i want it to relax very well under my armhole i hope we understand you mark your v neckline then from that pointy part you will come down by another half inch before you connect so now you can go ahead and cut off that paper now the next thing that i'm going to do is to take out half an inch half an inch on each side of the dart line half inch not one inch half inch on this side and half inch at the other side half inch here and you also take out half inch at the other side of the dart 
then anything you take out connect it back to your boss point and i will shade that place that is the only that i will take out at the upper boss i don't want it to be too relaxed at the upper boss i hope you understand what i mean so now i'll go ahead and cut off the top of the paper we don't need it we are going to cut out our yoke separately so after cutting that off i'll go ahead and take my body measurement so there are two ways of taking this body measurement you can take your body measurement and replace your dart on paper like you do your boss divided by four at the under boss you do under boss divided by four plus any dart allowance you took out so at my half length the dart allowance i took out there is two inches so if you divide your waist by four you add back that two inches that allowance then at the hip you divide your hip by four then add back your data allowance but that is not the method that we use the method that i prefer using is that i will cut off my center piece first of all like if i cut it off i will overlap the two um bust cut area if i overlap the two bust cut area I'll go ahead and take my body measurement with then doing by doing so i will not have to replace any that it is very easy for me so what i'm going to do now is that i'll cut out my center paper mm. i'll cut out this center paper if i do that i'll also cut off my dart. like i like closing my dart on paper that is what this thing means so anytime i do this it gives me a perfect fit instead of replacing my dart like adding back my dart allowance i don't like it so i prefer closing my dart on paper so you can see that the center piece is now half inch shorter than the side piece so anytime you are cutting the center piece remember that you will extend it by 0 0.5 like half inch so that it will meet up to the other neckline remember this when cutting so now i'll close my dart on paper you can see what i did there i'll close my dart on paper like close your boss that take your boss measurements close your under boss that take your under boss measurement though most of the time i don't use under boss measurements i use only my waist measurement so my boss is 36 divided by 4 i marked my waist is 29 but I, I brought it down to 27 i want to snatch it a little so 27 divided by 4 is 6.5 and at the full length my hip is 42 but i'm marking 40 or even 38 i don't want it to have this fish shape so i'll take out like two inches or three inches from my hip measurements and then divide it by four after doing that you will connect so you can see the shape the side of this corset has and this is okay for me anytime i'm sewing it it will work out very well for me so now after doing this i am going to cut my paper out after cutting this front i will use it to cut my back i don't have to draft any new paper before i cut out so now i am not cutting this front right what i'm going to do is that i will place it on my back now if you check that corset very well the back is lower the back neckline is lower than the front neckline so two of them should meet at the chest line at the armhole line you can see two of them should meet at the armhole line but the front is higher so now i'll go ahead and cut out what i have now and you can see that i overlapped that that i closed my that i overlapped it on paper and also you can notice that i did not add zipper allowance i did not add any zipper allowance there so now this is what i have the next thing that i'm going to do is to start cutting on fabric but before i do that remember that we are going to add a brack up to this corset but i said that the brack up will be inside so i'll go ahead and reduce my center back by two inches so the essence of reducing this center back by two inches is that so that we can have a space for snatching like i want it to be open at the back i want it to have a space at the back so that we can have enough space to snatch i hope you understand if you have been sewing corsets you know that you don't add zipper allowance instead you take out two inches from the center mm -hmm. back now this is what i have the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the fabric that we use to cover my bra up so this is the brack up that i'm using and the brack up that i'm using is my exact measurements like my exact bust measurements size 36 now i'll fold this paper into two i'll fold once and i'll fold again after folding it you are going to measure for the because of the size of the brack up that i'm using i'll measure five five inches round as if you are cutting a circle right you are cutting a circle 
so i'll measure 5 5 inches round after marking this 5 5 inches round i will cut out i'll connect that 5 5 inches i'll cut out then after cutting out i'll open this paper into two after opening it this way you will take out 1.5 on both sides 1.5 here and 1.5 on the other side then you connect them back to the center line you can see what i did there now i am going to cut it out and this is what we are going to use to cut out the fabric for covering this bracket up because we need to cover this bracket up and it will not have a line in just the outer part now i'll fold my fabric into two i'll fold and i'll fold again that is what i'll use so after cutting this i will have four pieces four pieces is okay two for the right bracket up and the other two for the left bracket up so you can see um i will have four pieces there i'll go ahead and cut out the other one so now this is what we have if you open it up you can see what we have there so we'll keep that aside the next thing is the bone casing this is the fabric that we're using for the bone casing the pieces that we use for the bone casing and they are 2.5 2.5 inches wide you have so many bone casing technique but this is the one that i'll be using this one is 2.5 2.5 and i had to cut out as many as i can this is what i will use for my bone casing and i'll also use it for the piping of the neckline and the full length now this is a corset mesh they call this a corset mesh they use it for sewing corsets it is not organza and it is not crinoline net but it feels like it so now what we are going to do is that we will start cutting out our pieces we'll cut our center front first of all and as you are cutting you'll be adding half an inch seam allowance around it and remember that i said that this center piece is half an inch shorter than the side piece when we are drafting at the neckline area it is half it was half an inch shorter so now i am going to add instead of adding extra half inch allowance i'll add extra one at the top so that the v neckline will match like if i'm joining the two of them they will match so now this one is the center this one is the side i'll fold my corset mesh into two also and i'll cut out the side So as, I, as you are cutting, you add half an inch here, half an inch at the side. So if you are sewing this type of corset, you don't add too many allowance. You highest is half an inch, half an inch. Because instead of adding allowance, you should be reducing because you need to like snatch the person's waist. Then I'll go ahead and cut out this one plus half an inch seam allowance. And after cutting this, I'll go ahead and cut out the back. And for the back... If you are cutting the back, remember that the center back will have a fabric. That fabric will help hold your um, eyelets because you cannot fix eyelets on this corset mesh. Corset mesh cannot hold it. So you can see what I have. Our neckline is set. It is okay now. So I'll keep this aside. So for that back, you after cutting your back piece, you are going to cut out, let's say, 2 inches from that center back. And replace it with your fabric so that that fabric will carry your eyelet so that fabric is where you are going to fix your eyelet so now I am done cutting my back right what I'm going to do is that I will take out two two inches or even two and a half but let me make it two inches because of my body size I am really slim I'll take out two inches from the center back after taking out these two inches i will cut out that two inches on my fabric so you can see what i have here i mark a straight line and i'll cut out two inches now using that thing that i cut out that piece that i cut out i'll fold this fabric into two so that i can get i can get two pieces i'll fold it into two and i will use it i will cut out on this fabric I hope you understand what I'm saying. I will have to cut out on this fabric. 
so now after cutting this out i'll go ahead and add um it's soft gum or hard gum you need to add an interface to it because after adding in that interface you, you replace that piece you cut out from the back this is very important please so if you want you can do this without cutting out anything but i love cutting it out then now i'm done adding my gum and you can see what i have i also ironed in i folded half an inch and ironed it in now i'll go ahead and fix it I'll go ahead and fix it then i'll run a stitch on it so guys the, the sewing tutorial i want it to be detailed and that's why i had to um divide it into part one and two so that this class will be detailed i don't know if you understand long videos are boring now this is the net that we are going to use for our yoke. this is the skin net that we are going to use for our yoke and i'll cut out this skin net on fold i don't want it to have any shoulder joining i don't want it to have any joining at the shoulder so what i'll do is that i'll mark my chest line eight i'll mark my bust point ten and i want this net to stop at the half length if you want your own to reach the full length of the corset it is fine but for me i want it to stop at the half length yes i want it to stop at the half length now you mark your shoulder and connect your armhole you mark your bust measurement divided by four you mark your neckline divided by three for now I'll make it 1.5 i will still make it i will still cut out the front neckline so mark your bust measurement mark your waist measurement divided by four you're not adding any that then go ahead and cut it out so this is more like a body you wear it inside before you tack it to that corset so now cut out your neckline i have just 1.5 there and i'll go ahead and fold out the front of this skin net from the back then the front neckline i want to make it three inches i'll make it three inches because it has to be deeper than the back neckline now i'll also go ahead and open up the center back of this skin net so by doing so by doing this my yoke my yoke will not have any join at the shoulder i hope you understand what i mean by that so just place them this way place it this way and shape the sides after shaping the side you will keep it aside now this is where we are going to stop if you want to see the sewing tutorial please do not forget to click on the notification bell and do not forget to subscribe so that anytime i upload you'll be notified we have so many online classes going on so if you're interested in our online classes you can as well send me a dm and i'll add you we have corset blazer trouser joggers who did so many courses online see you all in my next video bye